Welcome to my channel, folks. If you have been using AWS Systems Manager to manage your fleet of AWS instances, then you will be glad to know that you can extend the same functionality to your on-premise instances as well. Whether those instances are running Linux or Windows, you should be having the same functionality to manage your inventory, batch baseline, or remote commands to collect information about your instances. Today's demo is going to tell you how to do this in your own data center. I have written a small GitHub article which will help us to do that. Let us go over and look at the uh, items that are required to complete this demo. So the first thing that we need to do is create an activation. And once we have an activation, we also need an IAM role which can be created on the fly using the EC2 dashboard. So once we have the activation code and ID, then we will go ahead and install the SSM client on our on-premise instances using the code and ID. We will register them and then we should be able to remotely run some commands or collect some information about my remote instances. Today I have two instances. One is running Linux. So as I said, it is on Red Hat Linux. The other one is on CentOS. So these are the two resources that we are going to register to our AWS SSM now. So let us go to my EC2 dashboard and create an activation. Here you have activations on the left hand side. When you go to the navigate to the EC2 part and then click on create activation. And then I'm going to call this activation as Linux. Linux resources. And I'm, I want to activate three of them. So let us put a number as three and maximum you can do is something like thousand at a time. And the IAM role will be created automatically if you choose this option. So I want to set an expiry date saying after 31st, nobody should be able to register any more instances using this code. So this is all Linux. So I'm just going to put a default name as Linux so that we can manage them easily. So click on create activation. Once the activation is complete, you will get the activation code and activation ID. So let us make a note of it in another place so that we can use it later. So once you copy that, click on view result and you can have a summary here. It says that the three activations can be done and as of now, zero are there. So the next step is to install the agent in our on-premise instances. The code for installing the agent is given here. So all we have to do is update our ID and then update our code here and then go ahead and install it. So let me start installing in my Red Hat instance first. So let us go ahead and install it now. Now that the package is completed, it's download. The installation is complete. Let me stop the agent first. So once the agent is stopped, the next step is to go ahead and register it. So the registration seems to be successfully completed as you can see here. Then let us go ahead and start the instance as well. I mean the agent as well. So now this is done on my Linux instance, that is Red Hat Linux instance. I'm going to do the same thing on my CentOS instance also. Installation on my CentOS server is also completed. I'm just going to create a dummy file so that we can pick up this file from my run command option. So I'm just creating a dummy file under temp section. So the file is going to say, welcome to SSM hybrid cloud management demo. So let us go to our EC2 dashboard and see whether we are able to see both these instances registered and the instance ID is also mentioned here, something like MI followed by an alphanumeric code. So we have registered two instances. If we refresh our screen, we should be able to see this number change. There you go, you have two instances there. To see them, let us go to managed instances on the left hand side. So you see here, one of them says connection lost. That is, must be my CentOS instance. I forgot to recycle the agent after the installation. So let me go ahead and do that. 
So my agent is restarted. If I go back to my console, it should be reflecting now. So there you go, both my instances are online. So all I'm going to do is run a simple command on both these instances. So click on run command and let us go ahead and say we are going to run a simple shell script on Linux. And then scroll down and pick my instances. I'm going to select both my instances here. And then the command is going to be something like uptime and then more etc red hat hyphen release and then the other command is going to pick up the file that we just now created. I'm just going to more that file as well. So let us go ahead and run this. So my command has completed successfully. Let me go ahead and see the outputs. So one of them has completed, another one is still pending. So meanwhile, let me go ahead and check the one which is completed and check on the output section. And you see here the Red Hat release server has been completed and we are able to pick the output from the server itself. So that is how you configure ASM or SSM for your on-premise instances and manage them remotely. Uh, and you can do more than this. You can also run patches. You can also maintain an inventory of the software that is the installed there. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.